Could there be demons talking to you through your screen? Day after day, people sit glued to streams, hashtags, and trending news. Demonic media networks and companies spread their poisonous deceit and viral fear through screens and speakers. By captivating the eyes and the ears of a generation, they captivate the soul of a generation. Day and night, they manufacture their lies. Even if something isn't so, even if reality contradicts their narratives, they can convince the undiscerning through emotional repetition. Before long, their lies that contradict God's word and reality are believed by the masses. And the masses act as extensions of the media, spreading fear and demanding conformity, or else you'll be shamed, attacked, canceled. And the children of darkness are all in sync with one another. Movies, music, TV shows, online videos, podcasts, radio broadcasts, articles, and various forms of media, it all aligns like a choir of demons singing one grand number. All branches stay on message. Sadly, some believers sing the harmony. They sing the messages of the secular on their social media platforms, in daily conversations, and sadly, even from the pulpits. They push immorality and call it progress. They stir up division, spread fear, mock God's word, and push for the advancement of anti-God, anti-biblical agendas. No doubt, the world is effectively using media. The Bible says, And the Lord commended the unjust steward, because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. That's Luke chapter 16, verse 8. Media is a powerful tool, and it can be leveraged by any cause. Media is not evil in and of itself, so media can be used for the advancement of the gospel. Thankfully, we live in an age where media can be used by just about anyone. So I want to give you three simple keys to mastering the media for the sake of the gospel and the kingdom of God. Let's push back against the deception. Let's push back against the darkness. You can use your platform, large or small, to help spread biblical truth. Key number one, focus. By honing in on one simple message, you can become more effective in spreading the truth. Complex, nuanced ideas are difficult to spread because people don't really pay their attention to you for extended periods of time. Stick to a simple message, and if what you're preaching requires more detailed explanation, break up that explanation over several posts, videos, and so forth. Give them one step at a time. Find the message that God has graced you to spread, and then focus. Number two, repetition. As we've learned recently, even if something isn't true or at all based in reality, if it is repeated often enough, people begin to believe it. So how much more power will the truth have if it is repeated? Preach the truth and preach the truth consistently. Don't let up, speak up, spare not, sound the alarm. Repeat, repeat, repeat. In many forms, in many ways, repeat. When the truth is repeated, it always eventually breaks through. Number three, boldness. Today's social media mobs will cry aloud anytime you declare the truth. If you wanna see demons manifest, just post something that's biblically undeniable, yet unpopular in today's culture. They'll use guilt to try to make you feel bad for speaking truth. They'll use intimidation to try to make you feel afraid to speak the truth. They'll use confusion to try to make you second guess the truth. This is why boldness is needed now more than ever. Know the truth and then declare the truth boldly. No half measures, no hesitation, no damage control, no apologies. Speak it. If God is for you, who can be against you? Now more than ever, we need to spread biblical truths and ideas. Now more than ever, we need to establish kingdom dominion. Now more than ever, we need to preach the gospel. Let's never lose our focus. You are a messenger of heaven. Your message is the gospel. It's time to speak up. 
I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free teachings like this, make sure you're signed up to my emailing list so that I can send you weekly emails with content that will help you to grow spiritually. Go to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.